let's start probability probability is a word useful to mention a doubtful activity it shows chances in everyday life we come across statements such as it will probably rain today i doubt that he will pass the test Most probably Ram will stand first in the annual examination. Chances are high that the prices of diesel may go up. There is a 50-50 chance of India winning a toss in today's match. The words probably, doubt, most probably, chances. These words show uncertainty. We are predicting rain today based on our past experience when it rained under similar conditions. Similarly, in second example, he may pass the test or may fail. In third case, Ram may stand first in exam or may not. In fourth case, the prices of diesel may go up or may remain as it is. In fifth case, India may win a toss in today's match or may not win. Students, just have a look over example of probability from everyday life. Examples of probability. Two faces of coin. If one tosses a coin, it may have head or tail. Also, you can take example of dice. A dice has overall six faces, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Numbers are marked on each face. After throwing a dice, six chances of outcomes occur. This gives six different results. These are the examples of probability. Though probability started with gambling, but it has been used extensively in the field of physical sciences, commerce, biological sciences, medical sciences, weather forecasting, etc. Terms in probability. Let us introduce certain terms used in the theory of probability. Random experiment. An experiment in which all the possible results are known in advance, but none of them can be predicted with certainty. For example, we know that on a dice, one to six numbers are written. After throwing a dice randomly, one of the number come up. This is called in advance known results, but exact number cannot be predicted with certainty. This is a random experiment. Outcome. The result of a random experiment is called an outcome. After tossing a coin, either head or tail will come up. This head or tail is called outcome. Sample space. Let us study about sample space. A set of all possible outcomes of random experiment is called the sample space denoted by S and elements of sample space are denoted by N of S. Finite sample space. The sample space is called a finite sample space if N of S is finite. Sub examples of finite sample space are given in table. A coin is tossed. Sample space will be H and T. Two coins are tossed, then sample space is HH, HT, TH, TT. Three coins are tossed, then sample space is HHH, HHT, STH, THH, STT, TST, TTH, and STT. A dice is thrown, then sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two dice are thrown, then sample space will be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 and 2 6 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 3 5 3 6 and similarly it goes up to 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 6 5 and 6 6 a set of all favorable outcomes is called an event and is denoted by capital letters for example if two coins are tossed then sample space s is equal to H H H T T H T T. That is number of sample space is equal to four. Let E be the event of getting exactly one head. Then we get E is equal to H T T H. Therefore, number of event is equal to two.
find probability of same event then it can be calculated with the help of formula probability is equal to number of times a head come up upon total number of times the coin is tossed that is number of event upon number of sample space is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 2 impossible event and sure event probability of an event which is impossible to occur is zero such an event is called an impossible event that is p of e is equal to zero probability of an event which is sure or certain to occur is one such an event is called a sure event that is p of e is equal to one exam a box contains red balls Aryan takes out one ball without looking into the box what is the probability that he takes out a green ball a red ball solution since there is no green ball hence there is no value hence probability is zero since all the balls are red their probability is one that is sure event complementary event p of e plus p not e is equal to one or p not e is equal to one minus p of e the event not e is called the complement of the event e we also say that e and not e are complementary events example if p of e is equal to 0 0.25 what is the probability of not e solution we know that p of e plus p not e is equal to 1 therefore p not e is equal to 1 minus p of e that is 1 minus 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.75 range of probability therefore we can say that range of probability is p of e is greater than equal to 0 and is less than and equal to 1 that means range of probability is the value from 0 to 1 now let us check an example related to playing cards have you seen a deck of playing cards it consists of 52 cards which are divided into four suites 13 cards each, spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs. Clubs and spades are of black color, while hearts and diamonds are of red color. The card in each suite are ace, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2. Kings, queens and jacks are called face cards. There are total 52 cards out of which 12 are the face cards.